Hey everyone, it's Madeline, and this video is all about where to stay when visiting the Hawaiian island of Maui. Planning a trip to Maui is an extremely exciting and slightly overwhelming task if you've never been before. Deciding where to stay can dictate the rest of your planning, and in this video, we're going to discuss the areas of the island that are most popular to stay and the advantages of each spot. If you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Stick around until the end of the video and we'll discuss where we would stay on our next trip to Maui. All right, let's get started. West Maui. West Maui is where most of the resorts on Maui are located. Ka'anapali is one of the most popular areas to stay on Maui. This area is full of beautiful beaches, golf courses, and there is a large collection of resorts, including the Westin, Hyatt, and Marriott. This area allows for access to some of Maui's most popular beaches and has a mix of hotel stays and condominium accommodations. West Maui is farther away from attractions like the Road to Hana or Haleakala National Park, so you'll have to factor in some extra drive time when planning your activities. You do have easy access to shopping and restaurants in Lahaina if you choose to stay in Ka'anapali. Kapalua is a little further north from Ka'anapali and also has several high-end resorts, including the Ritz-Carlton. Even if you don't stay in this part of Maui, we highly recommend visiting this beautiful part of the island. South Maui. South Maui is another great option for resort stays on Maui. You'll have access to great beaches, restaurants, and small shops. South Maui has a familiar vibe and allows you to see what it would be like to live on Maui. Wailea offers you easy access to beautiful Maui beaches such as McKenna and Wailea Beach. This is where you'll find high-end resorts including the Four Seasons Resort Maui and the Grand Wailea. Kihei is a great possibility if you're looking for a vacation rental and tends to be more affordable than the resort areas. A drive down Kihei Road gives you beachy neighborhood vibes and we really enjoyed exploring the Kihei area. Not only does this area offer numerous restaurant options, but the beach here is fantastic. You will have to drive farther to some attractions from South Maui, so keep that in mind when planning your excursions. On the Hana Highway. This is a tougher area to stay and the accommodations are very limited. There are some small bed and breakfasts and inns along the highway. There are really only a few hotel options in Hana, including the Hana Maui Resort. Aside from seeing the sights on the Hana Highway, you will be pretty far removed from the rest of Maui. And it will take you two to three hours to get to the rest of the island. This option is great for travelers that have been to Maui before and want to escape the hustle of the more populated resort areas. Kahului. This area has limited lodging options, but it does offer quick access to the airport as well as grocery shopping. They have some smaller resorts and chain hotels, including the Courtyard by Marriott. In Kahului, you are pretty centrally located for exploring the rest of the island. If you get into Maui on a late flight or have an early morning flight out, spending one night in Kahului might make sense for you. Upcountry. There are limited options for lodging in Maui's upcountry. But if you're looking for a bit cooler of a climate with incredible views, you might find a vacation rental or a B&B that suits your needs. The upcountry area of Maui is very scenic with farms, wineries, and Haleakala National Park. Ma'alaya. This area is centrally located with a number of vacation rentals. It sits on the harbor and is close to snorkeling excursions and sunset cruises. There aren't really resort options in this area, but if you're looking for a more relaxed stay where you can move at your own pace, then this is a great option for you. We stayed in this area and found it to be a great home base location while we explored the rest of Maui. It is supposedly one of the windiest spots on the island, but we really didn't notice that when we were there. Guess we got lucky. As I mentioned at the start of the video, we'll now discuss our own trip to Maui and where we stayed and where we'd like to stay if we went back. So where would you stay if you were heading back to Maui? Well, if we were heading back to Maui for something like an anniversary or a special occasion, then I would definitely want to stay in a hotel. There's plenty of really nice hotel options on Maui, I think probably more so than any other island, and we'd want to take advantage of that. But if we were heading back, I love the condo in I love feeling like I lived on Maui for a week, and I really got that with the condo experience. 
we stayed in Ma'alaya in an Airbnb, and it was a great location, centrally located for us to get around to see all the sites on the island. But I think I would really enjoy um, slowing it down and having a resort stay the next time we go up in Ka'anapali or even in Wailea because we didn't really do that in Maui. We wanted to see all the sites. And since we've done that, I think if we went back, I'd be more partial to staying in a resort and just kind of plopping down for a week and spending time on the beach. If you want to see more from our Maui adventures, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.